who's actually been working the camera back there. He's uh, coming down here to talk to us. Ready? All right. Okay, so that's me holding the camera. I do a video podcast. We're doing all kinds of fun stuff down in Orlando, organizing some events. Hopefully, maybe one day we'll have a pachacha down there. Uh, we got some friends here from Orlando, John and Brian in the audience. I want to say thanks to Chris for having us up here. Um, a couple of years ago, I moved out of Orlando. I've been living there all my life, and I went to Michigan. But on my way to Michigan, I met these two guys, Jake and Scott, and we were at a convention in Los Angeles called SIGGRAPH, and it's uh, sort of a big convention for guys that do computer graphics. And I was really into computer graphics. I thought I wanted to go and work at Pixar at the time. So I was studying computer graphics, and I meet these guys in LA on my way to Michigan. And they have a thing called Seam Effects. It's the Southeast Michigan Animation and Effects Networking Group. And I hooked up with them, and I went to their first meeting, and it was absolutely boring. And they said, this is boring. You have to come to the after, and you have to come to the after. And I said, OK, but uh, I don't really know. Like, what, what are you really going to do there? You're going to go and have a beer? I can do that at home. But what they actually did, it was really amazing. I got into networking, and then um, I moved back to Orlando, and there was nothing like that here. There were a couple of events, like this blog Orlando, and I met some really great guys there, but there was no sort of like monthly, let's get together, let's do something, let's hang out, and just meet and network. So during the events for Blog Orlando, I met up with this guy named John. And John was a video podcaster. I was getting into doing audio stuff, John was getting into doing video stuff. He had lived in Australia, he had worked for these like streaming uh, internet television companies all over the world. He does some really cool, interesting stuff. And he's living in Orlando, like, just right down the street from me. I had also met these guys, Alex and Gavin. Alex I met just because he had a UCF logo on his uh, avatar on a website. And I sent him a message. I said, oh, you went to UCF. Where did you graduate? And he said, oh, actually, I live in DC right now. But I'm moving back to Orlando. And we're going to go to the Blog Orlando conference. So at this Blog Orlando, I met all these guys. and. We started doing this thing, it's called Lightline. You sit down and you have coffee uh, one, one day out of the month, and these two dudes from New York, Piers and Noah, started doing it. Chris, who organized Machapta, is actually an organizer for Lightline in Jacksonville, and we do Lightline in Orlando once a month, and uh, that's all of us wearing our name tags. One of the reasons why we wanted to get together and do Lightline is because we wanted to open up a co working space in Orlando, and hopefully other places too. Basically, People get together, they sit around with their laptops, and they work. They're not working on the same thing, they're all working on their own individual things. And this is a picture of the very first co-working space in San Francisco, and then this picture is one of the co-working space in Vancouver. So I, I emailed these guys, Piers and Noah, and I said, hey, we want to have a co-working info meeting. And they said, well, that's not really what LifeMind is all about. We want you to drink coffee, and we want you to get together and talk. So I said, getting together and talking is way simpler than what I thought. We can make that happen. Um, but we still wanted to have those meetings about co-working. We still wanted to sort of get our community together. So we started doing a thing called Florida Creatives. And this is actually, I think, our seventh Florida Creatives meeting. The first one had eight people. Uh, the second one had like 50 people. And we've had somewhere between eight and 50 every time. Uh, we get together <laughs> downtown. And we have a beer. We get some good Cajun food at this cool place in Orlando called the Crooked Bayou. And after we did that for a couple of months, one of the guys, Greg, decided he wanted to start doing some events. So we had a thing called Bar Camp. Computer programmers know all about Bar Camp. For you guys, I'm just going to say it's something similar to this. Anyone can get up and present about just about any subject. And that sort of brings us back around to Blog Orlando, because the week after we had our first Bar Camp, the second Blog Orlando came around. And you can see right here is John sitting in the audience. Uh, over here is Greg, another one of the guys who comes to our events. There's uh, some other folks in the audience here. If you, if you know this group, you know who these people are. And the really great thing about the second blog Orlando is, whereas the first year, myself, Alex, John, we were just attendees. We were just some of the guys standing in the room, you know, wanting to soak up some of the genius. We got asked to come and speak the next year. We get to become part of the event. So this is actually a picture of me talking about podcasting. You see my microphone down here? This is a picture of Alex. He is speaking up to people about all this community stuff we've been doing down in Orlando, trying to get the creative community together, the tech community together, having these meetups, just making stuff happen and sort of like stirring the pot and uh, seeing what comes out of it once you get all these sort of creative minds in the room and get them just talking to each other. And uh, 
Another great thing that came out of Blog Orlando is this guy in the blue shirt here, Alex Hillman. He came down from Philadelphia and he runs one of the maybe most successful co-working spaces in the whole country in Philadelphia. It's called Independence Hall. And it was just really great to get to meet this guy who had dozens of email conversations with, and now he's here in Orlando just talking to us. And super, super big deal for me, I get to be on television. It was unlike anything I've ever, you know, like, hey, sir, I've been talking on camera before, my face is all over the internet, but it's nothing like having a reporter walk up to you and say, hi, do you want to be on local TV? So it was, it was a really fun experience. And we've actually had a second bar camp just a couple months ago, and it was bigger and better. The first one was only one day and lasted for about six hours. The second one was two days, and there's eight hours on each day, a whole bunch more presentations, like 350 people showed up. Uh, we also we had a split up between a technology desert day and a media day. So there's just so much stuff going on, so many new people to meet. And out of that, we've started doing every week, we go down to a local cafe, and we're actually starting our co-working initiative. And every single Tuesday, we're sitting there, this is Phil and Chad, there's some other guys that come down to co-working. And we're, we're slowly but surely, you know, making all these sort of dreams come true, as it were. And it just sort of brings me back to uh, meeting up with these two guys, one guy who I'd never met before, and one guy who I just sort of get something connected with, Alex. Uh, we're sitting there, you know, but there's uh, just all the other presenters from our, from Blog Orlando are sitting around right here at, having lunch with us, and it was just this great little time. And uh, really, I have to just give big props to John and Alex, the guy that puts on Blog Orlando, Josh Hallett, uh, Greg who put on the bar camp, Chris is putting on the chapter right now, and this is really a story about people and about bringing those people together. And um, I'm just really excited to be standing on stage right now.